This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. You are in the right place at the right time. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hi, I'm Sandra from A Moment with Sandra and welcome to my channel where I discuss topics that will help you along your everyday Christian walk. How are you feeling today? How you doing? Seriously, how are you feeling? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you calm or anxious? Are you afraid? Are you encouraged? Do you feel strong today? Do you feel weak? Are you feeling discouraged? Feelings are the most deceptive emotions that we have. Feelings can change. They can make you feel like you're on a roller coaster or on a merry-go-round and you have no control over them and you can't get off when you're ready. You can't calm them down no matter how bad you try. Feelings are unreliable. We can't depend on them too much because they are so deceptive. And feelings can be dishonest with us. They can be untruthful. They're not factual. Our feelings or our emotions, uh, we were born with them. They were, they were given to us by God. And sometimes it can be hard for us to control them. Different situations bring out different feelings. But we can't ignore how we feel. But we can control our reactions to those feelings. You know, some feelings can signal to us that something's just not right. It can arouse in us a, a mode of survival or when something may be getting ready to come up against us unexpected, it can get us prepared for it. But one thing we have to remember is that we have to align our feelings with the Word of God. Just because it feels right does not mean that it's right. And when you're engaged with something that doesn't feel right, don't those feelings convict you? Proverbs 14 said, there is a way that seems right to a man. There's a way that may feel right to a man, but the end of that way is death. So let me ask you again, how do you feel today? How are you feeling? Are you happy today? Well, hold on to that feeling as long as you can. Because we never know what tomorrow is going to be like. Align your feelings with the word of God. How are you feeling? Do you feel hopeless? What does God's word say about hopelessness? Align those feelings with the word. Go to the word. It provides the truth that we need to know. Not the lies that our feelings can have on us or is telling us. Are you feeling hopeless? Psalms 40 said that he lifted me out of the slimy pit and out of the mud and the mire. And he set me up on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth on a song of praise to God. Are you feeling hopeless? Allow him to put a new song in your mouth. If you're feeling hopeless, remember what 1 Corinthians said, even though you're in the season of, of feeling hopeless right now, remember that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor have it entered into the heart of man, the things that God has prepared for him. He promised to give you a hope and a future. There is a better day coming. There is a better day coming. How are you feeling? Do you feel useless? Your feelings may say that you can't. Your feelings may say that you failed. Are you feeling useless? What does the word say? The word says, I can do all things to Christ. How are you feeling? Are you feeling worthless? What does the word say? In Malachi, it said that the Lord of hosts said, in that day, I will make up my jewels. You are a jewel. You are priceless. You are not worthless. Believe what the word says. Live by faith and not by your feelings. Let your feelings be 
expressed in a way that will bring glory to God. I remember reading and you know the story of how when Jesus went to the temple and he saw them selling and trading in the temple of God. And I know he was feeling some kind of way too because what he did is he overturned the, the tables and he just cleared out the whole temple. But he was doing that because it was part of his mission. And because of that, he was glorifying the Father. Let your feelings glorify the Father. Let your feelings serve a greater purpose. Yeah, there will be times when you think you can't control how you feel. And if you approach with someone who you can't handle today, you will say, not today. This is not the day for it. There may be times when it seems like things are occurring that you just cannot handle. But we have to align those feelings with the word. And not only that, we have to follow the direction of the Holy Spirit. Now, when the Holy Spirit tells you to jump, you do say, how high? <laughs> and when he tells you to keep quiet, you do it. Or when he tells you to speak, speak the word. Don't speak from your feelings. It helps to, to find someone who you can talk to about how you're feeling. Proverbs 12 said, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. But a wise man listens to advice. So if you don't know how to handle your feelings, you better ask somebody. Ask somebody who can give you an honest answer and can lead you in the right direction. Remember, just because you're feeling it does not mean that it's right. And just because you're feeling it does not mean that it's true. And just because you feel it does not mean that it's so. So let the word guide you and not your feelings. How are you feeling today? <laughs> I hope that these words encourage you in some way and that you will take them and apply them to your life. Don't allow your feelings to rule you. Don't allow your feelings to direct you. If you're not feeling it today, go to the Word. Rejoice. The Bible says rejoice always. So this is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice in it. Even those joyous things may not be happening. But rejoice in it because He has blessed you to see another day. So I will rejoice. And I would be glad in it. Thank you for watching. And I'm praying that you will have control over how you feel. And that your feelings will help you to glorify God. So even though you're not feeling it today, this is still the day that the Lord has made. And he still wants you to rejoice in it. So remember to click that subscribe button. And I will see you again next time.